People often say that calculus is the mathematics of continuous change and because practically everything is subject to change, it is an extremely versatile tool. While this is true, it is possible to capture the essence of calculus and present it as the solutions to two problems in geometry. And the surprising connection between those solutions lies at the heart of calculus. Let's see what these problems are. They are called the area problem and the tangent problem. Let's start with the area problem first. It is concerned with finding the area under a curve, such as this one. The way we solve the area problem is by subdividing the base of that region and drawing rectangles above each section to approximate the area that we are looking for as the sum of the areas of these rectangles and in the limit as the number of rectangles increases indefinitely we will find the answer, the area that we were looking for. Feel free to pause the video and think about what n and a sub n are represented by in the previous animation. As for the tangent problem, it is concerned with finding the tangent line to a curve at a point, such as this curve at that point. The way we solve the tangent problem is by picking another point on the curve, connecting the two points with a secant line, then measuring the horizontal and vertical distances between the points, thus computing the slope of the secant line as the rise over run. Then letting the second point approach the first one in the limit will give us the answer that we were looking for, the exact slope of the tangent line. Again, feel free to pause the video and think about which point was P and which point was Q in the previous animation. Now, these two problems may appear quite different, but as you may have noticed, their solutions involve the same core concept of a limit. Therefore, our study of calculus has to start with developing and understanding this concept of a limit. And this is exactly what we'll start doing in the next video. So I hope to see you there.